Tonight we're putting a spotlight on an alarming increase in sexually transmitted diseases among infants. And the number of babies born with syphilis in the United States is skyrocketing and that has health officials concerned. 2822 News reporter Madonna Mantione joins us now live in Wilkesbury to explain. Madonna? Nick and Candace, efforts are underway at both the state and local levels to prevent newborn syphilis cases and stop babies from being born with the painful and sometimes deadly disease. Syphilis is primarily a sexually transmitted disease, but the CDC is reporting a dire increase in babies being born with it. Pennsylvania's acting secretary of health joined the Wilkes-Barre City Health Department Monday to raise awareness about newborn syphilis. Testing is critical. It's possible that people, for people to have syphilis and not know it because the symptoms can be mild or they can mirror other illnesses. Untreated syphilis in pregnancy can result in miscarriage and stillbirth. While it is curable, babies born with newborn syphilis can have a host of serious and lasting medical conditions. Our team and our nurses are on it to make sure that that child is getting the testing that it needs for a diagnosis, the appropriate and adequate treatment, as well as outreach to the parents because it does have impact on the parents. It's a very stressful situation. For adults, treatment often involves taking penicillin. Dr. Bogan believes having conversations like this can lessen the stigma surrounding the disease. You know, stigma is a problem for many of our, um, when we talk about sexually transmitted infections. Um, so it's really important that people be willing and open to talk with their doctors and healthcare providers and with their partners um, so that we can actually reduce the spread. The Wilkes-Barre City Health Department has a syphilis clinic that offers free and confidential testing. To learn more, head to our website, pahomepage.com. Nick and Candace, back to you. Thank you, Madonna.